Hi folks, uh, welcome to day 16 of uh, 30 days of AI in testing challenge and uh, uh, today's challenge was to evaluate adopting AI for accessibility testing and share my findings. So accessibility testing, no matter uh, uh, if you want to do it or not, it is an essential part of every testing project accessibility is a standard there are laws for it so it doesn't matter if uh, somebody wants to do it or not they are always complied by the accessibility rules and how can you use ai to help you with that so this is something that probably everybody or anybody who's working on any app that is built for public uh, they would have to do this and i found this really powerful because uh, uh, this activity asked me to actually research on some AI and accessibility topics and find out tools that support this part. I did that and then I tried to leverage them and see how they put uh, and fit in my context and uh, how well they give the information, what are the limitations and so on. So like every day what I have done, I have created this mind map to talk about uh, the accessibility testing topics. So the first part, uh, the context. So I, I used two references. First is this accessibility testing UI with AI uh, article by UX Design Bootcamp. And second is enhancing accessibility testing with AI by DQ. So DQ has been working in this area for quite some time. So these are the articles uh, by Bootcamp UX Design. And the second one is uh, by DQ where they talks about uh, how AI and ML helps that and how they have some tools that can help with this process and so on. So good reads. I, I took my notes and the key highlights. So the key points was that uh, first for people who are like absolutely new to the concept of accessibility testing, this is something that I would like to share that uh, it's, it's basically accessibility testing talks about uh, the process of uh, ensuring that the website can be used by people with disabilities. So essentially it's important because there are legal laws that uh, ask companies to keep their public websites uh, accessible. So there is this rule in US, there are legal laws in different countries. So it's better to check out the laws that are applicable for your country. And uh, the core idea behind this accessibility testing is that it enables inclusion. It enables inclusion of folks uh, who cannot access like a, a normal average user for whom you always test for. So how can AI assist with accessibility testing? So the first part is uh, uh, very, very easy part. So, so first is like if somebody is missing alt text, so it can highlight and suggest alt text based on the image or, or uh, a logo or something. Similarly, improperly labeled form fields, AI can help with that. AI can also help with analyzing large amount of data for accessibility issues. So these are pretty powerful and simple use cases that AI can directly take over and directly suggest you even in your development workflow that you, hey, you are missing these aspects. Now the limitation is that uh, like a lot of people think that now they can put in the source code in chat GPT and so chat GPT can do this analysis very well. But uh, with the study, I mean, what, what has been found is that LLMs like Chat, GPT, Gemini, they are not like really well trained on accessibility data. So they are trained on general data and that results in inconsistent evaluations and inconsistent results. So it's better to use AI powered accessibility tools. So I'll, I'll talk quickly about two tools. First is Testcraft. So Testcraft uh, is available for free and it uh, basically generates accessibility checks and evaluates the status of your application or of your fields on accessibility standards and levels. It also suggests that how do you fix those issues if there are issues. And similarly, another powerful tool is Axe. It's available as a web extension. Both are available as a web extension and uh, it also analyzes websites via AI. So let's look at a super quick demo of that. So uh, I, I would be using my website to demonstrate the demo. So what I am now going to do is I'm going to go down at this section and uh, I am going to see if there is some accessibility issue with my about me section. So what I'll do, I'll click on test craft from the extension. I'll click on pick element and select this entire about me frame. 
now it has selected the element now what i'll do is i'll go again and i'll see check for accessibility and now it will check if there are issues and there is this image that i had used and which had uh, no alternative text similarly uh, lack of visible focus indicators and i mean based on different criteria different issues what are the suggestions and even it suggests test that what kind of test should i be doing for this uh, page and this uh, this uh, field or section so pretty powerful i can copy this and use this ideas or i can just copy this to create a bug report and so on so powerful topic i mean it's a ai assisted tool similarly another tool is ax which which runs through dev tools so what i have to do is i have to essentially press f12 uh, to open the dev tools and once you open that what happens is you can see it here and you can scan the accessibility for your entire application or even a part of the page so with testcraft what the good part was that it supports running on part of the page but you could essentially scan all the parts of the the page and then it's doing some analysis it's doing some checks and it's it found three issues through this automatic topic and then what are the issues what is the code that is leading to those issues how to solve the problem and so on so what is the impact and so on so i mean pretty powerful you could directly use this to create a bug report and so on so accessibility testing uh, with ai could be a good leverage it could ease out your job in finding issues as well as reporting issues reporting the impact and that's pretty powerful so that was my learning for the day and with that i conclude my day 16 of 30 days of ai in testing challenge and i will see you tomorrow with day 17 thank you do share your feedback and happy testing bye